Hey gang, I'm here at Epcot Food and Wine Festival, hoping to get something done before the skies open up. Went to the Shimmering Sips booth and got the banana bread. Caitlin, Make It Blue at Disney Adventure, suggested it. So here we go. It's more like a cake than a banana bread. It's very good. The cherries are, are plump and they pop when you bite into them. That's very nice. It's hard to get a bite of the, just the bread without anything on it, but I'll try. There was a bit of a sweet crust on there, like a uh, like a sugar rub. <laughs> the bread itself is sweet uh, and was good on its own, but with the compote and the the whipped topping, it, it bumped it up a notch. Thumbs up for me. I'm gonna give this one an A minus today. I am now here at the Africa booth at this year's Food and Wine Festival, and I'm here to try their vegan offering. I forget what it's called, but it's got rice and beans, and there's a fan blowing right on my phone. Let's try it. I like the different textures in there, the crispiness of the carrots, onions, with the uh, softer textures of the, is that quinoa and beans? It's very good. And rice, it's made with curry. So if you enjoy curry, you'll enjoy this, but it's not overpowering. Carrot and onion and I don't know what the mix that's on top, it's like having a salad along with the beans and rice. This is delicious. I'm going to devour this. This is wonderful. This is an A. I'd get this again. from Earth Eats. It's the uh, pudding with matcha and avocado. I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. It's chocolatey. If I were to compare this to say a jello pudding, I would say this is thicker, maybe a little more fudge, fudgy. I can't tell that there is a discernible flavor to the green that's on top, the matcha or the avocado, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if I would need to get this again. It's, it's a novelty. If you get enough of that green stuff, it provides a bit of a crunchy texture, not quite like a crust, there's not enough of it. Now I'm gonna eat the flour. This is good, but of the three things I've tried here, this is third place. There's nothing that stands out to me about this, but it's good. I don't know if it's good enough to get again. I'm glad I tried it though. I'm here in Tomorrowland to try the Harvest Chai Latte. Seasonal offering here. I can't wait, it sounds delicious and I'm thirsty and it should be wonderful. Here it is. Oh, that is the taste of the season. Normally this comes with four squirts of pumpkin syrup, but I ask them to only put two pumps of the pumpkin spice syrup in this. I got the iced version and it's, the ice didn't kick in yet, so still, I gotta, gotta make it colder here. Not there yet, but it is tasty. I love the chai. You know, it's got that little kick, that little, little sting in your mouth that I, I, I like. I like chai and the, the pumpkin spice. It's very, it's sweet. I can't imagine what four pumps of this stuff would, would be, but this is a very delicious fall beverage for the park here. There we go, it's getting colder. The colder it is, the better. Joffrey's in Tomorrowland. 
the Harvest Pumpkin Latte, or whatever it's called, I don't know. As far as Magic Kingdom treats, this is very good. And I would get this again. Modified, so it's not so sweet. Highly recommended. I would give this an A minus. Studios trying the pumpkin cream cold brew. Well, that's delicious. That's um, pumpkin spice coffee, of course. Uh, two shots of pumpkin spice, one, uh, four of vanilla, uh, and the cream on top is vanilla as well. It was such a hot day today. This is very refreshing. And the caffeine's going to provide a nice jolt of energy. I could go for a whole thermos of this. Again, nothing special other than that cream on top provides a nice hit of sweetness. I, I don't particularly care for a very sweet coffee drink, but this is a nice blend of the coffee I like, and I just and I can uh, choose how much sweetness I want. This, uh, you know the. It's not blended into the drink as so many are. I think the seasonal Walt Disney World options I've tried have all been pretty good. And one of the reasons I like this time of year a whole lot. Thank you so much for watching.